One variable star that you can explore tonight is Epsilon Arrigae, also called Almaz, Arabic for the billy goat or the male goat. A goat star? That's a bit peculiar. Why is there a star named for a goat? And what exactly makes it a variable star? Well, Almaz is near a pentagon-shaped group of stars, which forms part of the constellation Auriga, Latin for the charioteer, who is often also shown holding a family of goats. This is because from some parts of the Northern Hemisphere, Auriga is prominent in the sky during the late winter and early spring, when shepherds would typically guard their flock of goats throughout the night, which was then commemorated in the bright constellation. Auriga is hard to miss because it has the bright yellow star Capella, Latin for nanny goat or female goat, as a part of it. Almaz is just south of Capella. Two stars just south of Almaz are often referred to as the kids, keeping with the goat theme of names. Together, Almaz and these two stars make up a small triangle in the sky. Every 27 years, Almaz dims in brightness by roughly two and a half times, but it only fades for about two years. This led astronomers to conclude that Almaz is an eclipsing binary because it appeared that the star is periodically covered, or eclipsed, by something, typically another star, passing in front of it and blocking out part of its light. However, observations do not show the typical dimming expected for ordinary binary star systems, when two stars are present, making astronomers confused as to what the eclipsing object could be. So what is the other object in this case? Could it maybe be a planet? After collecting large amounts of data on the system over many years, they found that it is another star. But the star is embedded in a thick disk of gas and dust, making their observations a bit different from other eclipsing binary systems. This disk of material might be the start of a whole new star system, where planets may one day form far away from our own planet Earth. To help you explore the billy goat star Almaz, the constellation Auriga, and the rest of the night sky, try using a star chart or app on your phone, or you can use our special handout. This variable star episode is brought to you by Ball State University, the International Planetarium Society, and the American Association of Variable Star Observers, an international consortium of amateur and professional astronomers. For more information on variable stars and how to observe them, visit their website at aabso.org.